Hey, it's Jack here. Today we're going to go over some sample questions that you may encounter on your Part 107 FAA exam. Before the exam, it's best to get familiar with the legend in the first part of the book. Uh, this is a sample of that legend. Look it over. It'll give you quite a few answers to your questions as you take your exam. We're going to refer to Figure 2. If an unmanned aircraft weighs 45 pounds, what is the load factor during a 45 degree banked turn? To figure that out, we look at this chart here and we will go look at the 45 degrees and it tells us it's 1.414 and we times that by the weight, which is 45, and it gives us an answer of 63.63. .63. On the exam, they might have an answer that's rounded, such as 63. If that's the case, just answer 63. For airport KM. DW, what does RMK RAB 35 mean? Runway 35 will be closed due to rework. Rain began at 1835. Barometric pressure was at 35. Rain began at 1835. The way we determine that is this was generated on the 12th at 1856 Zulu time. The remarks are rain began at 35 minutes past the hour, which would have been 1835. KOKC, what was the weather from 2200 to 2400? We're going to look for 2200 to 2400, and here it is here, 2200, 2400. We can see that we had winds at 13 knots coming at 200 degrees and the gusting to 20 knots. We had four statute miles of visibility, showers and rain and overcast at 2,000 feet, probable 40. How many zeros to add to the overcast? Because it said visibility, four miles, four statute miles, overcast to 200, overcast to 20,000, or overcast to 2,000. So the correct answer is overcast of 2,000. You're inspecting the railroad between Merrill and Winnebago. Do you need FAA clearance? Let's find the railroad first. And if we look here, we can see the railroad here at the bottom of the map. We'll just follow it up and we'll look for Merrill and we'll look for Winnebago. Go up, we find Winnebago first. This is class E airspace starting at 700 above ground level. Since our drone can be at no higher than 400 feet, we don't need clearance here because the floor starts 300 feet above what we're allowed. We continue to follow the railroad line up. Well, we've hit class D airspace here that starts at the ground level. Class D has the broken blue line. And up here is Merrill. So the answer would be yes, we would have to have uh, FAA clearance to come through that class D airspace. What is the CTAF frequency at Vermont Rose RGNL MTJ? We find it in the middle of the screen here, the CTAF we is to the left of the capital C, 122.8. You'll want to bring with you a magnifying glass to the test and that'll zoom in and give you the correct answer. Uh, they might try to slip you up and say 122.9 or 122.8 and give you another frequency like 135.225. So the correct answer for CTAF on this is 122.8. What is located 47 degrees, 21 minutes north and 101 degrees, one minute west? To find this, first we need to determine what markings are on the map. For this question, we see that there's 101 and 48. We'll start with the latitude. Remember, latitude goes up from the equator, starts at zero at the equator and moves its way up. So we know that we need to move down from 48 to bring us to 47. The long line here is 4730, and we're looking for 4721. We go down to the next long line, this is 20. We come up to 21, so this is 4721. Next, we're going to look at for 101 degrees, one minute west. Here's 101, this is longitude, and we move one minute west, and we come down and we find Washburn Airport. 
Therefore, the answer is what's located at 47 degrees, 21 minutes north and 101 degrees, one minute west, that would be Washburn Airport. What does the dash magenta line four nautical miles east of Shoshone CO S83 indicate? Now, first we need to find Shoshone CO S83 airport and that's located here. To measure four nautical miles, we use the graph at the top. Four nautical miles is this dashed magenta line. And this dashed magenta line indicates magnetic variation. This is used for navigation between true north and magnetic north. I hope you find this video useful for some sample questions you may see on the exam. The testing supplement is available for download on the FAA website. I'll leave a link below. Best thing to do is look at this before your exam, get familiar with it. And if you have the time, go ahead and make up your own questions. Look for stuff in those sectional charts and become very familiar with it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I'll have more content coming. Good luck on your exam.